Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the Morning Starburst Kitchen Towel, the hand towel. Okay, I have also two other videos available on my Bonnie Bay Crochet YouTube channel. One for the dishcloth, which is actually a square. They just have it folded in this picture here. And also for the Mug Cozy. Okay, for this project you're going to need three colors. I'm going to be using the Knit Picks Shine Sport. This is a sport weight yarn, which would be a number two. Um, each of these has 110 yards, but obviously you're not going to need all 110 yards of every color. Okay, I'm also recommending uh, that you have a size G crochet hook, which is also a 4.4, I'm sorry, 4.00 millimeter, and a pair of scissors handy, as well as a yarn needle for threading um, the loose ends once we finish. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting with our main color, we're going to start with a slip knot. And then we are going to chain 42. Now we're just going to use a regular chain for this project. We are going to begin row one by working a single crochet in the second, let me go ahead and show that to you, a second chain from hook. So we don't use the first one, but the second chain, we go ahead and work our single crochet. Now we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the next chain, which is the fourth chain, we are going to work nine double crochets in that same space. So go ahead and do that. I'm just working in one loop of the chain. Feel free to do this however you like. If you like working in the back bump, you are free to do that. I prefer working in the side of the chain. It just seems easier, especially if we're going to you know, cover the rest of the, the foundation chain later. So let's check one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to single crochet in that fourth stitch. And so we've made the first shell. Okay, so we're going to repeat that all the way across these chains. We're going to skip three again. One, two, three. And in the next chain, we're going to work nine double crochets again. Okay, that would be seven, eight, nine. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then single crochet in the next stitch. So let's show you what we have after two repeats. So we're going to repeat this all the way across the row. This row ends by skipping the next three stitches, one, two, three, and a single crochet in that last space. Okay, now we're ready, <coughs> excuse me, now we're ready to begin row number two. We're going to go ahead and turn. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to work four double crochets together over the next four stitches. And this is how this works. We're going to wrap the hook. We're going to prepare like we're making a double crochet, except we just yarn over and pull through two loops just once. We're going to do that four times. Each time I've held back that last loop, we should have one, two, three, four, five loops. Then we yarn over and pull through all of the loops. Okay. Now after that, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next stitch, which should be that the fifth double crochet of the shell or this cluster. Okay. After we do that, after we do that single crochet, we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. Now this is where it gets interesting. We're going to work nine double crochets together over the nine stitches. These stitches, one, two, three, 
four, five, that would be that single crochet, six, seven, eight, nine. All of those stitches we are going to work um, nine double crochets together just like we did here with the four. I'll go ahead and do this one with you. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and notice how I'm holding a loop, that last loop back for each of these. Four, five should be, the fifth one should be that single crochet. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now I should have 10 loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There should be always one more than how many double crochets you're um, crocheting together. Now we're gonna yarn over and pull through all of the loops. Okay, and let's go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna single crochet in the next stitch, which is right here at the top should be the fifth double crochet of that cluster. And we're gonna do it again. We're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four, and then crochet nine together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to count the loops, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn over and pull it through carefully all of the loops. Now, if, you're, if your hook is not pulling through the loops as carefully or as easily as you just saw, saw me do, um, it maybe you need to look into a, a better shaped crochet hook. I really like the Susan Bates. I, I promise this is not a paid endorsement. This is just a lifelong love affair with a hook that really works well. Um, another thing is sometimes the yarn that you're using may be a little, I don't know, scraggly, um, maybe a lower quality. Um, or you just may just have to be real careful and pull through a couple at a time. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way across the row. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn, and we're going to work four double crochets in this first stitch. One, two, three, four. Now the pattern does say to skip the next chain, next um, four chains, but I think that's an error in the pattern, so we're going to ignore that. And we're going to make a single crochet in the next stitch right here. So just single crochet in the next stitch, just like that. Okay, now we're going to skip the next chain four, and we're going to work nine double crochets in that center right like that. After working the nine double crochets worked in that center stitch, we're going to skip the next chain four and single crochet in the next stitch. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. Row three ends by working five double crochets in the last stitch, which is the top of the last, or actually the first cluster of the last row. Okay, so let me show you that I have one, two, three, four, five double crochets work there. Okay, so this is this is coming along. Now the next row, row four, we're going to chain one, turn, and we're going to work a single crochet in that first stitch. And just like we did with row number two, uh, we do start this off differently. Row number two, as you recall, started off with a crochet four together. Well, we're going to crochet nine together. First, we do a chain four, one, two, three, four, and then we crochet nine stitches together. Those double crochets, remember we make the double crochet, 
but we don't complete it. We just do half of that stitch and we do that nine times. So we have four and that fifth stitch again is going to be in that single crochet in the very bottom. Okay, so I have seven, eight, nine. Let's verify that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then that tenth one, which is connected to our chain, yarn over, pull through all ten loops on the hook, chain one, two, three, four, and then single crochet in that next stitch. And that's what you're going to do all the way across the row. We're going to chain four, crochet nine, double crochets together, and then chain four, and then single crochet in the next stitch. This row ends by working nine double crochets together, and we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And so before I form that single crochet in that last space, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do part of the single crochet. I'm not going to wrap and bring the next color through until I get my contrasting color, which happens to be white. And we're going to pull that through like that. Now I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Now I'm going to take these two colors and I'm going to tie them together before anything happens here. Make sure you cut a nice long strand. Three to four inches is best. I think mine was a little bit short here, but we're going to just go with it. And we're going to pull those two together and just gently slide the knot down next to the work. And we will, we will hide that later towards the end of our project. Okay, so now we have our contrasting color, which is the white in this case, and we're going to begin row number five by chaining one, and we're going to turn, and we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to skip the next chain four, then we're going to work nine double crochets in that center space. And that's what we're going to do all the way across. So I'll go ahead and finish these nine double crochets. After I finish the nine double crochets, I'm going to skip the next chain four and we're going to single crochet in that single crochet. Now we're going to skip the next chain four and work nine double crochets in that next spot. Okay. And that's what we're going to do all the way across. We're going to be skipping the chain fours, single crochet in the single crochet, skip another chain four, and then we're going to work nine double crochets in this, in this um, center spot right here. So go ahead and work that all the way across. After working this all the way across the row, we're going to end with a single crochet in the last stitch. But as we do this, we're going to switch to the next color, which is the contrasting color number two, or what we're using in this um, example, we're using the grapefruit color. So we just pull that on through, and we're going to um, tie these off just like we did in the last row. So go ahead and leave yourself a nice long thread so that you have enough thread to um, thread it into the yarn needle and hide when we're through at the end and just slide that slide that down next to your work just like that. After attaching our yarn we're going to work row six and seven which is actually a repeat of rows two and three. And row two said to chain four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to turn and we're going to work four double crochets together over the next four stitches. Again, we're skipping that first single crochet as we do this. One, two, three, and four. And yarn over, pull through all of the loops. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in that next double crochet, which again should be the fifth 
of this cluster. Okay, chain four, one, two, three, four, and this is what you're going to be working all the way across the chain four and double crochet nine together. That's two, three, four, and the fifth again goes in that single crochet, six, seven, whoops, I accidentally crocheted that over, pull that back out, eight, and nine. Make sure you have ten loops on your hook and pull that all through, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then single crochet in that next stitch, which should be the fifth double crochet of this cluster from the last row. Okay, so this is what we're going to work all the way across. I will start again with a chain four, double crochet nine, double crochets together, and then chain four, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so go ahead and do that all the way across. I just love the way this um, grapefruit color just really pops with these other two colors. Row six ends by working a chain four, and working five double crochets together. And that last one goes in that single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And that one loop from our chain. And pull all through together. And now we're going to go to row seven, which is a repeat of row number three. I'm going to chain three and turn. We're going to work four double crochets in this first stitch right here. One, two, three, and four. We're going to skip the next chain and we're going to single crochet in that chain. We're going to skip the next chain four and we're going to work nine double crochets in this space. Okay, after working those nine double crochets, we're going to skip the next chain and we're going to single crochet in that single crochet. And that's going to be the repeat that we're going to do all the way across. We're going to skip the next, skip that chain, single crochet in the single crochet, work nine double crochets in that space where the other cluster was gathered, skip the next chain, and then single crochet in the single crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. Row seven ends by working five double crochets in the top of this cluster here. Okay, so we've worked five. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. Five double crochets in that end stitch. Okay, now I'm going to back this last stitch out just a little bit. Okay, that one loop, because it's now time to change back to the contrasting number one color. In this case, we're using the white. So I go ahead and complete that stitch with that white strand. And it's time for me to trim the orange. Okay, and I'm going to tie these two strands together in a knot very carefully. And I'm just going to gently push that knot right there very close to the work. That will be hidden later. Okay, now it's time for us to work row number eight. I've done switched my color. Now row number eight is the same. It's a repeat of row number four, which we chain one and turn. Okay, we're going to single crochet in the first stitch, 
we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And this is what we're going to do all the way across. We do our chain four and we're going to crochet nine double crochets together. You've seen this before, but I'm just going to go over it again. So that's one, two, three, four, and that fifth one again in that single crochet space. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Yarn over, pull through all ten loops on hoop or on the hook, and then one, two, three, four chains and single crochet in that next stitch. And so now we're just going to repeat that all the way across. We will chain four, one, two, three, four, and then double crochet nine together and then single crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way across. Row eight ends with a chain four, one, two, three, four, and then a single crochet in that last stitch. It's a stitch that you used for one of those uh, double crochet together stitches. All right, so now I'm going to back this single crochet out again because it's time for another color change. So instead of completing that single crochet in that last stitch, go ahead and complete it with the main color or the platinum. Okay, so now I'm going to trim the white thread and I'm going to tie a knot along the edge. Just gently knot that. Okay, I want to show you what we have. This is after eight rows of the pattern. It's going to be a nice wide towel, and I love the feel of this yarn, by the way. It just feels so nice and soft. It's going to be a wonderful addition um, to our bathroom downstairs. Well, anyway, um, let me give you some instructions for rows 9 through 12. It says to switch to the main color. That's what we've already done. We're going to work a repeat of row five and then repeat rows two through four. And then I could also read rows 13 through 16. If you have that, go ahead and take a look at it. But I'm going to try to simplify all the numbers and rows and whatnot. Okay, especially if you're mostly depending on the video. Okay, row five is very much like row one, with the exception is that you're actually working in you know the, the clusters and single crochets where row one was just working in the chains but row number five is essentially the same um, as far as how you work the stitches so what i'm going to have you do is go back to the very beginning of this video and as you look at row one just know that you're working them in another row up here but it is the same you're going to be um, working the clusters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start row uh, five, which is a repeat again of really row one and five. And so what you're going to do is you're going to repeat these eight rows all over again so that you will actually have the platinum section up here. And then above that, you will have the color section. So you will have two stripes. So go ahead and repeat all eight rows one more time and then I'll give you the instructions for how to finish. Okay before I go let me show you how to start row number nine which again is a repeat of five and is very similar to row one. We make a single crochet in that first stitch. We're going to skip the chain four. And we're going to work nine double crochets in that cluster center. And this is what you're going to be doing all the way across. Okay, after you work the nine double crochets in that hole, we're going to skip the chain four and we're going to work a single crochet in that single crochet. Then we're going to chain four and you guessed it, nine double crochets in the center here. So that is going to be your repeat all the way across. Now that again is row number nine. And so you're going to be 
um, repeating that, that's the same as this row down here, and then go ahead and do this much repeated, those eight rows, and then I'll show you what we have. After working those nine double crochets, we skip the next chain four, single crochet, and that next single crochet, skip the next chain four, and then we'll work our nine double crochets in this um, center space once more. Okay, so that's going to be your repeat all the way across. Okay, after completing through rows 16, this is what the pattern should look like on your towel. Okay, now to begin row 17, you're going to need to switch back to the main color, which is the platinum color or whatever color you've chosen to be your main color. And I'm going to go ahead and back out the single crochet so that I complete it with the platinum. I just wanted to show you that I'm doing that. It's so easy to just get busy crocheting and forget sometimes. But once we do this last color change, we are just going to continue on with the main color from this point on. And go ahead and make sure we secure that knot. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of knots to hide and when I get to that, the end of the towel. I will show you how to do that. Okay, now for row 17, we are just going to continue to work in the same pattern stitch um, and this particular one, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to be repeating row 5. Um, so that starts by working a single crochet in that first stitch skip the next four and then we work our nine double crochets in the hole right here okay so you've done this many times so if you're by the time you get to this point um, you should know pretty much what to do so rather than watch me crochet um, this will I will crochet nine of these double crochets let me just give you some instructions here um, for those who follow row by row, um, this is row 17. We're just going to, which is a repeat of row five. Now rows 18 through 32, you're going to repeat rows two through five. That's if you want to go back to the beginning of the video um, and start with row two. You can have all the video support you need for that. Um, you're going to do rows two through five three more times, and then repeat rows two through four once more. That'll give you up through row number 32. So go ahead and complete that. That's a lot of crocheting. And then after you finish that, I will show you how to do the finishing, which is the rows uh, or the rounds rather worked around the complete um, towel. Okay, after completing 32 rows worked along this side, I'm going to turn this a little bit and show you what we should have. You should have a nice, soft, comfy towel right now and it's time to work at the finishing rounds now a row yeah the rounds now at the end of uh, row 32 we would need to have chained one so I'll go ahead and show that to you and we're going to do three more stitches three more single crochets in that same space and this is going to effectively become the corner okay now the instructions say to evenly space 72 single crochets along this edge. We're going to be working along um, the edge of the rows. Now I've counted as I've gone across in order to try to help you divide this up more evenly. Um, if you look at the like the shell, like the little dips here along the edge, or I guess it would be like, like half of a Catherine's wheel, um, there are actually eight of them. So if you work nine single crochets along each of the sections all the way through to this single crochet, it would be an easy way to work 72 stitches evenly. So I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. Okay, I'm just going to be working along the edge and it's somewhat arbitrary as to where you put your hook, but you want to make sure that you get enough uh, fiber or fabric so that the um, stitch stays. I like to do more than, you know, just a, a single loop if I can help it. Okay, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is how I've chosen to space the first nine stitches. I'm going to do another, another grouping. So that's my first group. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, worked in that last single crochet. So this is how I'm spacing them all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work those 72 stitches across the row ends. Okay, after we've worked 72 stitches all along the row ends, now we're going to get to the corner and it says to work three more single crochets in that corner space. So I'm going to just add to that last single crochet space and add three more stitches to turn the corner. Now the instructions call for us to work 120 single crochets all the way across the row. Um, this was actually the foundation chain where we started. So I've gone ahead and done some math and there are 15 half of Catherine wheels or you know the big shell sections here. So what I've decided to do is for each se shell section I'm going to work eight stitches. So if I work eight stitches eight stitches and eight stitches as I walk as I work across the top here then it will come out to 120. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one and see how we how we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm effectually putting three single crochets in the one uh, turning chain and then two in the center and then three more in the next turning chain or double crochet, whatever it is along that edge. And that should take you evenly across. So I'll do that again. One, two, three, and let's put two in that center hole and then three more on the chain. Okay, so if you just do that consistently all the way across, it will be even and you will get your 120 stitches. So go ahead and finish that. Okay, now that I finished working those um, 120 single crochets along the long edge, now we're simply going to repeat that again. We're going to work along the short edge. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of this, but don't forget we're going to put three, three single crochets. One, two, three single crochets in the corner. And as you work across the bottom part of these uh, half of the Catherine wheel, we're going to work nine single crochets um, in each wheel portion or as we work across the wheel portion and that will give you your 72 and then after that we're going to work three single crochets in the corner and then as we work across the other long edge um, and as you complete uh, working across these half of the Catherine wheel um, go ahead and work eight stitches across there evenly until you work all the way across and you will get 172 stitches. I'll show you the join after we complete that. After working the single crochet all the way around the towel, we're going to come to the first of those three single crochets we worked in the corner. We're going to work a slip stitch to join and then we're going to chain one. Now we're going to begin round two, which starts with a single crochet in that same place where we just joined. And in the next single crochet, which is should be the, the second of the three chain uh, single crochets worked as the corner, we're just going to work three single crochets in there and extend it to that corner. 
Okay, now we're going to work our single crochets all the way across until we get to the next corner. Once we get to the next three single crochet corner, go ahead and work a single crochet in that first single crochet, three single crochets in that middle single crochet, and then single crochet in the next. And just continue to do that um, as you come to each corner all the way around, go ahead and complete the other three sides just by working the single crochets and I will show you the final join. After working the second round all the way around the towel, I'm going to join with the slip stitch to that first stitch of the round. Now I'm going to fasten off by working a chain, giving it a tug. I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut a nice long strand so that I can thread it into my yarn needle and pull it through, give it a nice little tight tug. Okay, now I'm going to show you just a little trick here. I do this at the end of all my videos just so that people know how to hide the loose threads at the end. So go ahead and you thread that yarn into the yarn needle. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down into the back of my work. Right like this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it underneath the stitches. I'm going to try to hide them as best I can. Okay. There's no particular rules or anything set up for doing this. You just want to hide it as efficiently as you can. And you want to make sure that these threads don't, you know, pop out. So you want to hide enough of the thread or the yarn under these stitches so that with use, um, they will not come out. So I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna bring this one a little bit further down. Below, it might be easier to work through these other stitches. And I'm gonna just run it under some more of these single crochets. Okay. Pull it on through. Take my scissors and very carefully, I'm going to cut the strand. Make sure that you don't cut the crochet. Okay, give a little pull and that string is hidden. Now, when we get to the, the end, let's see if I can find it here. Here we go. With all these strands, make sure that when you're hiding these, that you're going to try to hide the, the, um, orange thread under the orange crochet and the white under the white if you can. Now you can run them you know, together underneath this if you'd like, but um, you might want to try to you know, disguise uh, these strands under similarly colored yarn. Okay, except for hiding the strands, this towel is completed. I just wanted to give you a better view of what we've just finished. Okay, well if you've liked this particular video there is a matching video for the dishcloth and also one for a cup cozy um, th thanks again to knit picks for the yarn and for use of the pattern and if you like these videos please hit that little red subscribe button so that you don't miss any more coming your way god bless bye bye